Okay, welcome to C Programming. Uh, today we are going to write a program that uses uh, pointers to functions. Uh, here's the program that we're going to write. Use the, uh, write a program that uses bubble sort to sort an array of values. Uh, we're going to hard code the array that we're going to sort. However, um, whether to sort the list in ascending or descending order is going to be decided by the user. So we're going to prompt the user to say, would you like to sort your list in ascending or descending order? And the user then is going to uh, tell us uh, just by answering the question whether they want to sort it in ascending or descending. We then are going to have two different, uh, instead of having two different bubble sort functions, we're going to have one bubble sort function and it's going to take a function as a parameter and that function is going to determine whether or not uh, we are going to be sorting in ascending or descending order. So here is the prototype for the bubble sort function. It's going to take an int star, that's going to be a, the array, so it's a pointer to the array. Uh, that we're going to sort. The second parameter, the int, is going to be the size of the array, and then the third parameter is a pointer to a function, which is going to be the function that determines whether or not we are going to sort in ascending order or descending order. We'll call it the compare function. All right, go ahead and open up Visual Studio. Uh, I'm going to create a new project, a Win32 console application. I will call this a, uh, let's see, function pointers make sure that you select uh, empty project under console application under the solution explorer add a new source file uh, make sure that you select the dot cpp and I will name it function pointers dot cpp there that gives me my uh, file that I can begin writing in now. So, we want to do any kind of input or output, we have to include standard io.h. Uh, we had the syntax for our bubble sort uh, function. It took an int star, an int, and then we had our um, third parameter is a function. So, that is what it looks like. That's our function prototype. I'm going to create two, a few other functions here. Uh, my ascending function is going to take two functions, or two integers. My descending function will take two integers. And I'm also going to create a print array function. Okay, so there are all of my function prototypes. Now we will start with our implementations. So I'm going to go ahead and just type them out. We will create them all in just a second. Okay, and at the bottom, our main function. Okay, so uh, if you don't quite type that fast, go ahead and pause the video. Type all of your uh, function names, uh, the implementations in there um, so that you're up to speed, and we will start creating the implementations uh, right now. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the main function first so that you can understand kind of the flow of the code and what, what's going to happen here. I'm going to create an array down here with eight elements in it. I'm just going to assign some uh, values into the array. So there I've assigned some values. It's not sorted in ascending or descending order. Let's print out our array, all eight elements of the array. Then we're going to call the bubble sort function on the array on all eight elements and we want to sort it in ascending order. Now, remember that all functions are pointers. They're just special pointers. So what I've done here is I've passed in just the name of the function in as the third parameter to the bubble sort function. Well, all that I need to be able to pass a function in as a pointer is I just pass the name of the function because the name of the function is a pointer to the function. It points to memory uh, to the body of that function in memory. 
So that function, if you see, what does it need to take? It needs to take two ints as parameter and return an int. Well, the ascending and the descending functions both do that. Now, I haven't provided any uh, body for those functions yet, but I will in just a second. And then we're going to go ahead and call the uh, same function with descending and then print out the array again. So what we're going to see here is the array is going to get printed out three times. The first time it gets printed out, it's just going to be 5231 The second time, hopefully, it's going to be in ascending order. And the third time, hopefully, it will be in descending order. Okay, the uh, print array function, this one's pretty easy to write. Um, I just need to iterate through all of the elements of my array. and print them out. Now, since we're going to since I passed in a pointer, we're going to have to use pointer arithmetic here. Now again, we don't have to use pointer arithmetic, uh, but I would strongly recommend it because if for some reason it wasn't a pointer that uh, it wasn't a pointer to an array that was passed in there, then that will cause your program to crash once it gets to uh, that line. So I would uh, it's much safer if you use uh, pointer arithmetic there rather than using the array notation since we have a pointer and we have no guarantee that it's going to be an array. Looking at this code, we see that it is an array that was passed into it. However, we don't have any guarantee of what's coming into that function. Okay, so there is my print array function. Okay, let's come up now and write our bubble sort function. So the bubble sort function... Um, The bubble sort function here, uh, we have a few variables. We have our loop counters and we have our temp variable that we use for our swap. And the, the way that the bubble sort looks is that we iterate through uh, all of the elements in the array and uh, our outer loop and our inner loop. We start at i plus one and we go up to size and we iterate through those. We then have an if statement where we're going to compare. Now this is what I would normally do, is I would compare my array sub i to see if it's greater than my array sub j. That's what we're going to change on that line. And if it is, then what I would do is I would perform the swap. The way that we perform a swap is that we first have to get the, um, the element that's in the ith location. So that gets the element in my array that's in my ith location. I then uh, reassign what's in the ith location to be what's inside of the jth location, and then put into the jth location temp. Okay, so this performs my swap. Now, what I need to change is this right here, because this is going to sort it in ascending order, but I don't always want to so sort it in ascending order. Sometimes I want to sort it in ascending, and sometimes I want to sort it in descending. So what I need to do is I need to call that function compare, pass in my array pointer plus i dereferenced as the first parameter, and pass in the dereference value of array pointer plus j as my second parameter. And I want to see what that's equal to. Well, I'm going to set this. We have to write this function. This, this function compare uh, is either going to be ascending or descending. So we need to write this, and we're going to have it return a value. We're going to say if it returns 0, then we want to perform the swap. So I'm going to put a little comment here. If returns 0, swap will be performed. Okay, and I'll put that above each one of those functions just so that I remember that as I'm writing them. Okay, now that completes my uh, bubble sort function. There's nothing more to it than that. What I need to do now is inside of my ascending, I need to write uh, if my the first value that's passed in is greater than the second value that's passed in, I want this to perform the swap. Well, if I want it to perform the swap, I need to return a zero. If I don't want it to, I can return anything else at all. With descending, it has to be the other way around. So if num1 is less than num2, then I'm going to return the zero so that the swap gets performed. Otherwise, I'll return anything else. I'll just return a 1. And that's all there is to this program. Uh, 
What's going on in the program, I understand, is complicated. The number of lines of code that we have in here is really not that much. So it's more important that you understand what's happening rather than um, exactly how many lines of code we have here. You see that it prints out the first time in ascending and the second time in descending order. We didn't prompt the user yet to decide that. We can go ahead back down here to the bottom and we can prompt the user to figure out whether they want to do it in ascending or descending order. So right here, we can print out to the user, uh, would you like to sort in ascending, we'll put an A, or descending order. Do a scan F on a percent C and read it in, we'll say order, oops, an ampersand order. Up here, create a char called order. And we'll say if the order is equal to character A, then we will sort it in ascending order, else if the order is equal to D, then we will sort it in descending order, else print out you didn't select A or D. And we'll print the array out at the bottom. There's no reason to put the print array inside of both of those uh, if else if statements because it's going to print it out down there at the bottom. Uh, and it's doing the same thing on uh, regardless of what path of execution we take through the program. So there's our original array. Asked if we want to sort an ascending or descending. I said ascending, and it did it. And next, descending. And there you see that it worked there as well and printed it out. If I select something other than A or D, then it tells me that I didn't do it, and then it still prints the array out in the current order. Okay? So, that's the program. I'll get this posted online for you so that you can follow along there. If you have any questions, let me know. Again, I understand that fun pointers to functions is a difficult topic. Please take the time to understand this. It's an important topic, even though it is a difficult one. Okay? If you have any questions, let me know. Good luck.